looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have another part of the playoff promo. As you guys do know, we are getting the divisional, um, I mean, divisional round, pretty much. We're into the conference round as of the Sunday, but we are getting the divisional performers, past and present, of course. We have a good morning Madden pack, so let's start off with that. We did actually hit an elite out of this yesterday, which is very rare. Uh, I mean, at least for me, I'd never pulled them. Is that Isaiah Simmons? That's pretty cool. Um, anyways, moving on, guys. We have some more stuff. We have Team of the Year news. Team of the Year's kind of Team of the Year date confirmed. Pre-stream reveal as well. But yeah, let's get into it, guys. Before we do though, subscribe to the channel, turn on the noti bell. If you're new, like the video as well, guys. If you're loyal, like the video. You guys have been smashing the like button. Can we get 50 likes in today's morning content video? I would greatly appreciate that. You guys have been smashing it, really helping out the channel. Let's keep it going, guys. You guys have been going crazy with it. We have some more stuff, too. We have the Madden Club Championship Final Pack here. So let's open that as well. I do not like how they gave us an animation for that. All right, let's get to the Good Morning Madden Pack. And, uh, guys, if you need any coins, head over to my reserve down below. Make sure to always use code POODLE for 30% off. Take advantage. Skip out in the packs. Can we get another Elite hit out of here? Nope, of course not. All right, let's get into it. So... Team of the Year stuff, we will get into that first. So, guys, first off, Team of the Year is confirmed for Tuesday. Team of the Year Tuesday. Kind of fits, right? We're getting it this Tuesday coming up. So, today is, I believe, Friday. So, we have Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Pretty much three days in between the rest of today. Probably, like, four days until then. And then Monday morning at about 10.30, you know, the usual stream time, we will be getting the pre-Team of the um, Year, like, stream. You know, the special stream. Initially, the stream did say we'd be getting it on Sunday. And then Kralo hopped into the stream and said, no, he'd rather do it Monday. I'm cool with that. Honestly, I like the morning reveals better because, you know, in the morning, everyone's, you know, well, just sometimes people are home. That's when you watch the stream. That's like early morning. You're chilling. But late at night, sometimes, like, you know, you're, you're going to the gym after work. You got family, kids to feed, a wife to, you know, spend time with, girlfriend, husband, so on and so forth, partner. You're, you're going to be busy, right? I don't know. I like the early morning streams better. I feel like they're more convenient for a lot of people. Even if you go to, if you go to like an office job, you know, that's the morning. You're just setting up. You're getting to work you know peep the stream real quick play it on like as a podcast just hear the audio i don't know maybe it's just me moving on though so the team of the year will be coming that day i wonder what the overalls would be i'm still leaning towards thinking 98 overalls are probably what we're going to be seeing 97 powered up to 98 or 98 base i don't think we won't go to 99 unless it's 98 powered up but other than that it does it does seem you know it's interesting i'm excited for team of the year last year it was on the 14th and today's already the 22nd and we won't see it until 23rd 24th 25th 26 so we're not going to see it till the 26 so it is 12 days later approximately just about two weeks later than last year so that's interesting in terms of like dates and how this year has been slightly different but yeah nonetheless get into the playoff promo stuff let's go check all that out that is the daily content for the day so we got week two we got 96 overall joe montana masters he's going to be our past master for the division around playoffs so joe montana you know 49ers play for the chiefs as well toward the latter end of his career um, we have Alan Lazard as the 95 overall hero, Miles Jack as the 95 overall hero, and Devin White. Now, Devin White and Alan Lazard, I believe, are the current ones, and then Miles Jack is the past one. Taron Johnson, Trey Quan Smith, uh, Sean Gary, and Darrell Williams. These are the total ones that we all have here. Joe Montana said, as per usual, always going to be pretty good now. Let's check out the players. This may not be as, uh, as good of a set as the other one was with Josh Allen. So 94 speed for Devin White. I mean, he's got no power, but that is crazy. I wish the block, oh, I mean, he's not, the block shot's too low, though. Had his blocks have been in the 90s and you had it, you could power him up, he would be an insane, insane middle linebacker to just stop the run and leave in the middle of the field. But otherwise, I mean, the card's good. So Devin White's worth, you know, doing the set for per se. But I don't know if Alan Lazard and, uh, you know, Miles Jack will be. So let's check out Alan Lazard real quick. Let's see, he's a wide receiver. He's got 93 speed. Okay, so the speed's too low. I mean, he will get to a 94, but, you know, nothing game breaking unless you're on a Packers team team. No meta there. And then as we know, Miles Jack, he was okay. Uh, but he's the linebacker. So two linebackers. And Joe Montana does not get Gunslinger, I believe. So that kind of kills that set. The week one set was a lot more profitable. John Abraham, or, you know, convenient. John Abraham was a meta player. Josh Allen was meta. Marlon Humphrey was meta. And, uh, oh, hold up. Not Marlon Humphrey. Marcus Peters. So that's what I thought. Marcus Peters was meta. And so was T.Y. Hilton. So not as good as the first week set, but still a good set nonetheless. Let's go check out the stats, though, on Joe Montana. Let's go check out some solos. Remember, guys, be playing your solos. You can get the uh, weekly Super Bowl uh, prep tokens. Make sure you are getting those done. You go through them. You play them. Because you are able to earn an 87 to 88 overall player from that week's release, as well as collect enough prep tokens for stuff towards the Super Bowl. Um, but anyways, remember, you will get an elite Super Bowl player. I'm not sure how good that will be. But it is there. 
There's supposed to be a house rules as well, which I'm not, I wasn't seeing before. Let's see. I heard there was supposed to be one. Let's keep checking it out though. Seasons. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe there's no house rules just yet. Maybe there wasn't supposed to be one. I don't know. Point is, we're moving on from that. Let's go check out Joe Montana though. Because Joe Montana, anyone who's played since Madden 13, I know I referenced Madden 13 a lot, guys. It was my favorite probably Madden of all time for Ultimate Team. But if you guys played since Madden 13, it was like the real first official like online uh, Madden Ultimate Team. Joe Montana was one of like the Madden goats back then. He was like that guy that just like, you wanted Joe Montana. He was one of the most accurate quarterbacks. And that's back when, you know, thresholds weren't really a thing like they are now. So back then you could just like, you could just rock like whatever you wanted. Like one guy would be two speed less, but he played better, right? Like, cause he had, he had two more agility and two more Excel or something like that, or two more or something. But now it's all threshold based. And the thing is the format of the game has just changed so much. It's really changed the whole way you play just for every in general, right? It changes the way you play. But again, Joe Montana was always a Madden go. So I always have a soft spot deep down for Joe Montana, even if his stats haven't been great because they've really been killing Joe Montana cards the last few years. Pocket pass in general, I mean, they've, they've tried to get back to it as of lately. They have been putting more effort to make sure that we get back to the pocket passer. I've seen it. I've noticed it. But still, let's see. Uh, so let's see. So we got Devin White already on the block. I believe I just saw him there. Nope, I did not. We had, we had all three of them on the block. Alan La uh, Lazard, we have all of them. They're kind of expensive right now. I would definitely not touch them just yet, especially because, like I said, the set isn't as profitable because the master's not that enticing. And as soon as Joe Montana's on the block, things will come down. So I wouldn't spend too much money on these sets just yet, or players in general. If you want them, definitely wait an hour or so. Let things settle out in the market a little bit more. Because if you, if you buy now, you're going to be hurting yourself or your pockets, I should say. I should say. John Abraham was a meta player. Joe Montana, like I said, I do not believe he will be because this year is the year of high, super high throw power gunslinger a uh, gunslinger hot rod master i kind of just that's been the year that we've been dealing with for the most part that kind of been like what, like what everyone's focusing on so it's super tough to actually go ahead and take advantage of quarterbacks that don't fall on a threshold and i believe joe uh, joe montana does miss it by about two potentially we'll be right back once he is on the block to check him out and it is on the block as you guys can see the card art's not as great i don't know i don't know i don't really like the card art like that to be honest with you guys kind of looks like a I don't know, it looks like a little fake, kind of weird. But Joe Montana, six foot two, 200 pounds, 82 speed, 93 throw power, 95 short accuracy, 94 medium accuracy, 93 deep, 96 throw under pressure, 93 throw on the run, and 94 play action. Now, the thing with this is, though, Joe Montana, he has the accuracy, but he fits the bill of all those quarterbacks. So, like, not fast enough to really be mobile. He's mobile, but he's not fast like Rich Gannon or like Josh Allen. All those guys, the new Kyle Murray, they're all faster while also having higher throw power, right? So, he falls below the throw power threshold. Um, his speed just isn't there. Like he seems like he's like the jack of all trades. That's always been what Joe Montana was. Now, like I said, in past Madden, the jack of all trades was elite, right? The guy like like Emmett Smith could be better in past Madden than a guy like Barry, who was three speed faster, but Emmett could truck better. He could break. He would just do everything so much better than Barry. Barry broke the big run. Emmett played the short game and got you three, four yards every single carry, right? Nowadays. Barry's better because the trucking doesn't matter as much. Thresholds matter more. And at the end of the day, if Barry hits the same thresh threshold in this, but he's faster for speed wins, right? Joe Montana's the same thing. Back in the older Maddens, he was an all threat. He wasn't it was no, without the threshold per se. At least it didn't seem evident back then. Joe Montana was so well rounded. He could throw, he could pass, high accuracy, speed, everything. But nowadays, it's kind of like, okay, well, as long as Josh Allen is all above 90s as well, and then his speed's, you know, plus six, why would you ever pick him, right? That's kind of been the issue with recent Maddens, which I hope they do get back to fixing, is that. You know, your favorite player in the league is Josh Allen, but Michael Vick is 96 speed. So it's like, how do you ever go away from him, right? Or you love Michael Vick now, but this year you need Gunslinger. So how do you use Michael Vick, right? So they need to stop doing that. They need to make it to a, they need to get rid of Threshold, I think, entirely. I think Threshold is because they, I guess it's like a money saving thing. So like people can just afford to get a player within a Threshold and it makes it easier for them to, you know, stay balanced in games, which is why you might rather your team might be a God squad and their team might be like three overalls less, but they're filling the thresholds that you fit into so they play similar. But they just get away from that because that will get rid of the whole speed meta if they go back to like, okay, we have to like, you just have to really compare stats. Like Joe Montana versus Josh Allen. Okay, so Josh Allen is plus six speed, but Joe Montana has plus three better short, plus two better medium, plus two better deep. So he's going to be more accurate quarterback. And we used to do stuff like that. Now it's like, no, we like check throw power, 95, and eh, uh, speed, no. Throw, oh, no, okay, he's bad. Like that shouldn't be a thing. It should be, you have to check every stat. Back in the older match, you have to do that. Besides the rank, guys. Good content nonetheless today, not complaining, but I do hope we get back to that of having to look at stat by status that are just two key stats. If they, if they don't fit that, they're automatically off. Like like route running, right? If they don't have 90 route running, you don't even think about them, right? Oh, if they don't have 95 speed though, or 94 speed, you don't even check their route running. You skip from there, right? We need to get away from that. But point being is, guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's playoff drop. We have the team of the year reveal coming Tuesday. Stay tuned for that. And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Subscribe, turn on the noti bell. And if you guys watch this long, always like the video, guys. 
Greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.